Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. So today I'm going to be filming the rainy day book tag because I was tagged by Lucy and Scott from the Book Act, so thank you very much and I will link their channel below, I really appreciate it. It's the first time I've ever been tagged, I think, in a video, so that's very exciting. Um, and um, I'll also link the original video below as well, in case you haven't seen it. Um, I've watched their video, obviously, but I haven't now looked at the questions in order to pick my answers so I'm going to kind of do it while I'm on camera so I've got the questions next to me so let's get started. This is a very apt tag for today because it's really raining so <laughs> it's like it new. So the first question is rain. Pick a book that makes you cry every time that you read it. And for this one I'm going to go for quite an obvious one and that is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I actually plan on rereading this hopefully this month. This follows um, Hazel and Augustus who are both um, quite young and they are both um, dealing with cancer and it's about their lives and their first love and things like that. Um, this is really really sad though and it does really make me cry. The second one is Puddle. Pick a book where the world is underwater or mostly around water. And for this question I'm kind of cheating a tiny tiny bit but I'm going for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Now I know that this book is not completely set by water However, one of the massive tasks in the Triwizard Tournament is, which is what I'm going for, the second task is in the lake and um, it's not one of my favourite parts of the book so I'm going for this one. The next one is Rain Boots. Pick a book with a character with a damned soul. And for this one I'm going to go with a monster. This is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. It's huge. It's literally 1,200 pages. But this, I mean most of the characters in this have damn souls, let's be honest, like they don't do well for themselves in this book so I'm picking this because Javert probably has a bit of a damned soul, um, yeah any of them to be honest with you. The next one was Umbrella, pick a book that is big and comforting. Now for this I could pick any Harry Potter book. I could probably pick Les Mis because it was quite comforting as I read it. But I'm actually going to pick my copy of Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. This is not a particularly long book. I think it's like 400, nearly 500 pages. However, it's a big, physical big book. And I really liked this. This is a fantasy book that I actually enjoyed. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of fantasy normally, but I really liked this one. So that's what I'm going for. The next one is rainy day movie. Pick a book that's been turned into a movie that you would watch on a rainy day. I would watch most films on a rainy day to be honest. I'm not one of those people who kind of only picks like picks films specifically for the time of year. Like, I'd watch a Christmas film now to be honest and I'm not even bothered. But I would say I love to watch um, the movie adaptation of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Charlotte Bronte is, um, is an amazing writer and Jane Eyre is probably my favourite classic of all time so um, yeah, and it's quite cosy to sit and watch like a Victorian y thing, and it's also just really, really great. So, yeah. Question number six is coffee. Pick a book that you couldn't get enough of the hot and steamy romance. I don't really read romance books too much. So, I'm just going to say Fifty Shades of Grey. Because, you know, it's a romance sort of, and it's sort of hot and steamy. So, yeah, I'm going in with that. Then we have Poncho. Pick a book where the main character has an amazing best friend. Again, I could say any of the Harry Potter books because they're all amazing. But I'm going to go with Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because, I mean, you could count any of them as best friend, like Kath, Ren, Levi. Uh, oh, what's her name? The other girl that's in it. Reagan? Yeah, um, they're all amazing. Also, um, from the Carry On series, you have Simon and Baz and Agatha and all of those. So yeah I really like this whole like, series in general so that's what I'm going with. Then we have Gutters. Pick a book where the world is dirty and grimy in the way that you would imagine it. Now I'm not going to get it because it's all over there but I'm going to pick Game of Thrones for this. I'm currently reading the first book. I'm quite a way through it now um, but just thinking about it even if like nothing bad has happened at that point like I imagine it in quite a like dirty kind of gross way um, even though it's amazing. I really liked it. <laughs> Oh, I'm really enjoying it, should I say. Um, but yeah, that's the one. I think that I, I, I feel like the world itself is just a bit gross and grimy and a bit ugh. Then we have Cuddly Pet. Pick a book that has out of this world or very enjoyable animals in it. Again, Harry Potter, 
I could answer for this. But I'm actually going to go with the City of Bones series just because of the um, like Luke and the werewolves because I love them. Um, any book with werewolves in really, I feel like they're quite out of this world and I love them. And they're not particularly cuddly, um, but I think they're great. Um, I also really like the Twilight series personally. I know a lot of people have issues, but I love the Twilight series, so I'll pick that one too. And then the final one is Sweet Treat. Pick a book that had the sweetest ending. Now, I'm gonna really shock everyone here. I'm going with Under the Dome. It's not a very sweet ending, but it's the kind of ending I really like in a book. Um, so for me, it's a sweet ending. Now, if you've read it, you'll know what happened, um, but I'm not gonna say otherwise, because I'll spoil you all. Um, but yeah, Under the Dome by Stephen King is amazing. It's also massive, so when you get to the end, it feels really sweet that you finally finished it. <laughs> um, so that was my rainy day book tag. I want to tag Sam from Sam's Nonsense, um, Laura and Amy from the Two Paper Girls and Lauren from Lauren in the Books. I will link the questions below and I'll also link the channels I'm tagging below and until then give this video a thumbs up. I hope you like this video and um, I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys!